Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about BSR or Amazon BSR and explaining what it is. Hi guys, my name's Simon. I'm a six figure Amazon seller here in the UK. And today we're going to be talking about a very important concept, which is the Amazon BSR ranking. Now, BSR stands for best seller ranking. And essentially what this is, is it is a ranking that Amazon assigns to every single product on their website. And what it does is it basically um, gives a ranking for every single product and the most popular products in a certain category are given a rank of one all the way up to the maximum of the number of products in that listing. And from here, you can then know whether an item is a fast seller or a low seller. And you can also kind of see the percentage of is it a top 1% uh, seller in a certain category or is it, is it a, a, a top 5% seller in a category? And it's important to know this because... Every single category has a different volume of items in that category and every single category has a different sort of sales volume for the sales rank. So it's very important not to go, oh, this is this is the top sort of 1% item in video games and uh, compare that to, say, the top 1% of an item in, let's say, uh, sewing and arts and crafts or something like that. So totally t different categories. Both items could be in the top 1% but I have vastly different sales volumes. Now, so before we go on to the rest of the video, I want to talk about my sponsor, Profit Protector Pro. Profit Protector Pro is a best-in-class Amazon repricer with a bunch of algorithmic strategies that are already built into the software. Now, the reason that I like PPP, Profit Protector Pro, is because, one, it's really easy to set up and really easy to assign certain sort of strategies to all your listings compared to other repricers that I've used. But two, it is a repricer that's trying to make you the most amount of money. So depending on which strategy you choose, and there are a bunch to choose from, you can basically allow PPP PPP to push the price up on how much money you can make and it will always be testing Amazon to see how much uh, it can get away with on Amazon in terms of the price before Amazon take away the buy box. So, you know, it might be that your old repricer is just setting the price to the minimum or matching the lowest. Well, PPP is way smarter than that. It will be constantly trying to increase the price and seeing how Amazon reacts to that. And you'd be surprised actually that you might be able to get the buy box at five or 10% above the minimum. And that's all extra money in your pocket. So if you're interested in signing up to PPP, Profit Protector Pro, then please check out the link in the description. So what we've got here is I'm going to switch over to my uh, this chart and uh, I'll link to the website that has this chart below. But yeah, what you can see here is, a, this is updated February 1st, 2024. It's so not too far out of date. And you can see um, sort of how many products are in each category and also what a, t a sort of top 1% in that category um, actually means. So in terms of like how much, how many products there are in that category. So for example, here we've got automotive, you know, to be in the top 1% for automotive, you need to be in the top 116,000 uh, items that are selling. And BSR, by the way, guys, is determined purely by sales volume. So the fastest selling item in automotive, the one that sells the most over a certain period, will be given the rank of one. And then the slowest one will be given the rank of, well, here it'll be uh, 11,661,554. So that's how it works, basically. So we can see here automotive top 1% means 116,000. But for books, top 1% is nearly 550,000. But, you know, if we go to something like handmade products, you know, only the top 3,000 items are top 1%. And this is kind of good, um, as I've mentioned before in previous videos, I think it's really good to try and niche down into a category and get really good at that category. Now, these are obviously quite broad categories. And inside of these, you've got subcategories. But at least this way, you can kind of see how big a category is that you're getting into. So automotive, for example, which is a category that not many people get into, by the way. So it could be a great one. You know, there's, there's obviously a lot of products available here. And there's a lot of scope to be getting in terms of like what is the top 1% of sellers. You know, but then something like large appliances, you know, only 6,000 products in the top 1%. So, but what this doesn't show you though is the actual like sales volumes. So we only know that it's a top 1% item uh, or a top 3% or whatever and how many items are in that category. But what we don't know though is, you know, what actually sells. So what we can do is then just compare some, some items here that I've got. So for example, here we have the number one seller in uh, PC and video games. 
And what we have here is we can see that, I mean, seller amp can't even figure this out. It just doesn't know. But Amazon are telling us here that we've got 7,000 sales per month. So this is the best seller in video games. And Amazon, uh, the great thing is when an item sells more than 50 per month, Amazon will tell us and they'll tell us pretty much roughly how much it's selling within sort of 50, 100 uh, sales per month. Um, and what we can do here is so we can see 7,000 per month for this PS5 controller. And obviously this will is just a snapshot for this month. Um, obviously, this will go up and down depending on the uh, time of year. So here's another one, for example. We've got uh, 4,000 per month. This is the best seller inside of uh, home and kitchen. So you can see here we've got nearly, the PlayStation 5 controller is nearly double the sales of the best selling item for home and kitchen. So obviously, each category has different sales volumes. Here's another one we've got. Um, this is computers and accessories. I think we're number 12 in here. I think number one I couldn't find. But anyway, number 12 here. So just to show you, uh, 5,000 per month. So I'm sure number one. I think I looked at number one. but And what you can do, you can always scroll down on Amazon. Go down if we find it. Um, here and we can look at the... Uh, so it's number one in mice and it's 11 in computers. So we can see the top 100 in computers and accessories. I think number one... Oh no, okay, it's going to work. So we've got this HP cartridge here and this one sells 20,000. So now we're at 20,000 per month for being number one in com well, this computers and accessories. So again, a cr you know, we're talking way more than PC and video games. And here we have the top item for sports and outdoors. So maybe not quite as big a category. We only sell 1,000 per month of these. Um, and this is the best-selling item for sports and outdoors. So we can see this is a much uh, smaller category than, um, uh, you know, say PC video games or was it home and kitchen was the previous... Oh, no, sorry, computers and accessories... Um, so yeah, it's very important to just keep an eye, not, you know, not just let's go, oh, this is top 1%, we're all good to go. It's good to, you know, understand and look at what that actually means in terms of the sales per month. Now there's now, a great website called Jungle Scout that has, uh, well, it's, it's got many softwares on there, but one of the things it has is a free sales estimator. And what you can do is you can put your marketplace in, such as United Kingdom, and you can then select your category. So let's say we're going to go for automotive. And then you can put the rank in. Let's say you find a product that's, say, 10,000 rank. You can then go ahead and calculate that. Now, it's not going to work for me because for some reason it doesn't work on Chrome for me for some stupid reason. But oh, no, it is okay. Cool. There it works. Okay. It's a bit temperamental for me. But, you know, anyway. So, um, as you know, when you do videos, things work and don't work as you don't expect them. So it's just part of the game. So you can see, you know, 60 sales per month is a, uh, you know, for 10,000 sales rank. But if we went for something like, um, what was that big one? Was it home, not home and kitchen? Where were computers and accessories? Let's go for 10,000 here. Okay, it's saying 60 as well. Okay, which is great. Um, let's find something slower. Uh, this is only an estimate, by the way. You can always just go onto the website and see. So, okay, cool. Pet, su pet supplies you're getting 120 sales per month, so actually uh, greater for 10,000. So but the point I'm making here is that obviously it's different for every category, so it's good to understand this and look into this. I obviously don't know all this off the top of my head. Every time I look at a product, I have to look at it and see and then estimate how many it is. You know, when it comes to estimating sales, I always use Amazon first, which is the very first thing. Then I'll use Keeper to see what Keeper say. And then finally, I'll look at something like Seller Amp or Buybot Pro. So yeah, guys, hopefully that was useful um, just to understand the BSR and how it works. And just to make sure that you understand that every single category has a different number of products in it. And what is considered, say, a top 1% product in one category, you know, might have more products than another category. So guys, hope you found that interesting and I'll see you in the next video.